Oh yeah, yet another Ryzen 5000 mobile processor leak and how interesting that is because in about a month from now we're expecting to see Dr. Elisa Su hold a keynote at CES 2021 where we're expecting to hear more about the upcoming 5000 mobile CPUs and their upcoming RX 6000M graphics cards but in this video we're mainly going to be focusing on the mobile processors and I of course already have a video on the 5800U and the 5900HX and of course the RX 6000M series of graphics cards so you can go and watch all of those videos as well if you're interested but now it's time to tell you that we have learned more about the entire stack of 5000 mobile CPUs from AMD so let's just dive right into it. The latest leaks from Momomo have detailed the entire 5000 series stack of processors and that's also where we've seen that the 5600H will have 6 cores and 12 threads with a base clock of 3 GHz and a boost frequency of 4.1 GHz whilst the number of GPU cores is still unknown but to be fair I would expect AMD to also be giving it 8 cores like they've done to the 5800H because that would not really be all that surprising. Now for the 5800H AMD is stepping it up to 8 cores and 16 threads with a base of 3.2 GHz and a boost that I would expect could be anywhere between 4.2 and 4.3 GHz looking at the other processors processors and how they configured them as well but nevertheless those chips should also perform really well in gaming and I say this because I'm basing it off of with, on the benchmarks that we've seen for the 5900HX and also for the 5800U. But aside from being interesting they're also going to be very confusing because what, because what AMD is doing at this point with the 50 with the 5000 series of processors they're not all going to be based on Zen 3 instead the ones that are going to be um, with an even number so bear with me for a second right here because this is actually going to be a bit more complicated if you're new to this whole thing even for me I would say either way the ones with um, even numbers are going to be based on Zen 3 so that's how you can remember it if it has an 8 or a 6 then it's Zen 3 or if you want to see hey the second number is an even number then that's Zen 3 and if it has an ev if it has an odd number so let's say a 7 or a 5 then unfortunately that's going to be Zen 2. However that's not all that sad because those CPUs are actually going to be great as well and we're going to be talking about that with a 5800U we have seen that it's going to have 8 cores and 16 threads with a boost clock frequency of 4.4 gigahertz and a GPU clock of 2 gigahertz. However we have seen the 5700U will be a step up from the very capable 4700U as well because this time around AMD has been enabling SMT so simultaneous multi-threading uh, on those CPUs as well so do expect to get some extra performance out of them as well and this is a, a nice refresh that AMD is doing and with all of this information that we have gotten so far I would most certainly be interested in seeing how many laptop manufacturers are going to include AMD into their laptop configurations because most of the time we've seen them working with Intel and bringing those CPUs and laptops to the market and they have been great in terms of availability as compared to AMD and Ryzen CPUs because we haven't really seen a ton of 3500 or 4500U uh, laptops especially not here in Germany just to give some random examples however I did manage to get two of them for some of my friends so they've been enjoying them so far and I think you are actually going to be enjoying those um, future laptops once they get announced at CES and they go on sale if you're going to pick them up because AMD seems to be doing a lot of great work with those um, desktop CPUs and I would expect that to transfer very well to mobile as well it really depends what different manufacturers are going to do in terms of pricing in terms of cooling performance because a lot of those chips can be configured with different TDPs so as I was saying in some of my other videos you're going to see that uh, some laptop manufacturers go with 15 watts or 25 watts or go with 45 instead of 60 or depending on uh, their cooling you're going to see different performance despite seeing that hey this MSI laptop has uh, the very same 5800H processor and the very same RTX 3070 just giving a random example over there but this ASUS laptop performs way better so if you're gonna want to get your hands on a new laptop I would most certainly say uh, keep an eye out for reviews that are going to come out for those chips and I would most certainly expect 
<clears throat> most of those things to also be unveiled at CES 2021 from both Intel and AMD. And don't forget that Dr. Lisa Su is going to hold a keynote at the event and that is going to be most interesting. And if you'd like to keep yourself up to date with the latest news in tech and gaming, then definitely consider subscribing to this channel using the button under this video, not this one that I'm showing right now. And what else can I say? Um, if you're bored, <laughs> then definitely go and check out some of my other videos that I released uh, this week. And I've also released a second video today. So go and watch that as well. This has been Alex with the Red Elk. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.